G'day all. Um, firstly, uh, I just want to say um, creating light for uh, California, um, which is what inspired me to do this video. Uh, I didn't want to make a video on this. I didn't want to focus on this. Um, but the only other channel uh, I'll give, a, I'm going to give a shout out to you. Um, <clears throat> the only other channel that I'm aware of that is reporting um, any of this is uh, no script. Um, she, I've, I've noticed she's been keeping an eye on um, up here on the New South Wales Queensland border um, the fires up there. So uh, thank you. Um, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, if anyone else is uh, looking into this, um, has any footage uh, of not normal fire activity, um, anything strange, uh, please um, let me know. <laughs> um, because it's very hard to, to find. Um, yeah, uh, thank you to all the channels that um, are reporting uh, the attack on California at the moment. Um, much appreciated. Uh, you're showing us the truth, you're showing us what they're doing and it's out there for everybody to see. They're not hiding it. Um, it's very obvious and there's a lot of people awake over there. Um, which is good. Uh, yeah, so I just I wish it was I wish people were doing that here um, and not just trusting the mainstream media um, who can't even report on the drought properly. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> so that's what inspired me to make this. I, I want to make it short. Um, I just thought I'd check my area uh, when I found out that um, uh, the fire, there was another, um, there were more attacks, uh, is the best way I can put it, um, and uh, it's down Southern California, down on the border, um, yeah, close to some, some dear friends, so that inspired me to check my area um, because Yesterday we had a massive uh, quote-unquote dust storm, which I don't even know was if it was reported or not. Um, I've had my TV switched off for two days because um, I'm sick of sick of it, sick of watching it. Um, yeah, but I was in it <laughs> in the dust storm. Um, I'll show you a bit of footage uh, in the video in this video. Um, for those who don't know, I've been uh, researching the fires um, for the last year since I became awake and aware um, as to how they've been lying about them and how they're starting them and that they, that they are attacks um, and they come in waves uh, and it's all related to the controlled manipulated weather. Um, and I think related to the underground fiber optics as well. Um, I don't want to get into that too much. Um, uh, go over to a plain truth dot info four, um, and I'm pretty sure because his channel has has been deleted several times. Um, I'm pretty sure he still has something on subterranean bushfires. Um, anyway, uh, I'll also put another link in the description to Logic Before Authority. Uh, he explains it very well as, yeah, he explains it very well. Um, we have a national broadband network here, which are the fiber optics, underground fiber optics. <coughs> um, it's, uh, they're claiming, um, mainstream says it's the 5G network, which was switched on um, without our knowledge or consent uh, already, apparently. Um, 
I haven't done too much research into 5G, but I think um, it's a sham um, because it's been glitchy uh, since it was switched on. I don't have it in this house. I refuse to have it in this house. I only know from what I've been reading. Um, and I don't think uh, that's the intention for this for these fiber optic cables. Um, I think there are other intentions for them. Uh, the catchphrase here is lightning fast. Um, and if you go watch the link in the description um, from Logic Before Authority, you will see hopefully connect the dots um, that I have been connecting. Sorry, it's really, it's it's like a.m. here in the morning. <laughs> it's like 2 a.m. or something. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit incoherent, but I just want to get this up. Um, anyway, uh, if you look back through my channel, um, you will see the research that I've done on the bushfires. Um, I even got a screenshot of some drones making the lightning strike that started the catastrophic 2003 Canberra bushfires, which I was in. I experienced it. It wasn't very nice. Um, anyway, so just just go back um, through my videos and you'll find them um, if I can find <laughs> if I can find it. Uh, I'll put the put the link in the description of the one with the drone footage. Um, anyway, so the California fi I'll keep veering off. The California fires inspired me to check my area, and all these fires have been flaring up like they've they've been going on all year. Um, I'll show you I'll show you a YouTube search in a minute. But um, yeah, uh, we're in drought. The media is not reporting this part of the country, the southwest bottom corner of the country. They are not reporting the drought. Um, so do not trust mainstream media uh, for anything, um, especially regarding the drought and the bushfires and the weather and everything else. Anyway, um, I'm here. I used to live up here, and look, it's all getting burnt. That That's where I grew up. It says Port Macquarie. I grew up there, and um, yeah, that's just, it's been getting burnt for months, really badly since September. Um, anyway, this is me. Yeah, it said yes. It said yes, so it's changed. It said yes before. Yes. Y A S S <laughs> is um about about here, like it's north it's northwest of me. Um Yeah, so that's a different one. So the yes one has disappeared. That's weird. Um, yeah, anyway, there's smoke here today. Smoke in the air. Really, really strong wind. Um, and I'll get on with the video. Okay, so that's that's my area at the moment. Um, but then I wanted to see what Australia looked like. Uh, and check this out. Yeah, I had no words. I still don't have any words. Um, that's not normal. Um, yeah, I don't go looking uh, at these kinds of maps often, but um, yeah, that's not normal. Um, I don't even I don't even like looking at that. That's yeah. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, I thought this was strange. Okay, check 
Lycée. Incredible dash cam video has emerged showing flaming glowing pink embers on trees in bushfires near Melbourne. It was filmed by volunteer fire crews in Bunyip National Park. They're fighting a blaze that has burnt down homes and conditions aren't expected to improve in the region for several days at least. Yeah, so that, that's that's what I was talking about at the start. If you see anything strange like that, like this was on the fourth of March, so I'll put the link in the description. Um, yeah, what he says here, we it may be the heat or some chemical composition of the tree, perhaps. Most people will be familiar with yellow, orange, red, blue and white hot. We usually get colours when other elements are added as say used in fireworks. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, so there's other people noticing things at least. And I'm calling not natural, something strange is afoot. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, Okay, so this was my search. I wrote Jew attacks. And it's all ABC, mainstream. We've got California fires. Anything related to Jew, it comes up with California, which is not surprising um, because California is really being attacked badly um, and everybody knows what's causing it but none of these Australian ones see that yeah that's from a plain truth um, none of these Australian ones it's all mainstream there's nothing about uh, Jew attacks and Australian fires. It's all California under attack, California Jew attack, California Jew directed energy. Um, yeah, so, and um, to me, it's pretty obvious they're doing the same thing all around the world. Uh, it's on. It's really on. And yeah, so I just wanted to uh, give an update on what's going on here. That's what's going on here. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, I will show you. Okay, so where is it? This was yesterday. Um, if you're wearing headphones, please either turn them down now or take them off <laughs> uh, because uh, it's just it's I'm just showing you the wind yesterday. Um, okay, here we go. See the red? That looks unnatural to me. It doesn't look like um, dust, uh, which is the colour of um, red dirt, which is orangey red. Look at that. That's unnatural. Unnatural red. Um, and the white layer above the clouds. It's disgusting. It really is. Um, 
Anyway, I'll just let it play through and then, then I'll end the video. I didn't want this to be a long one. The last week has been really hot with no clouds, no chems, no nothing up there. So, as they keep starting now, excuse me, the noise of the mountain. Again. Unnatural red. Um. And you should have seen uh, the outdoor, everything that was outside in the backyard, the chairs, the table, everything. Um, <clears throat> every time we get wind, every time we get rain, um, it's covered in um, this red stuff and it's disgusting out there at the moment. Um, we had a storm last night and we had one 10 minute heavy downpour um, so there's red spots all over everything outside at the moment okay so you kind of got the gist of that I don't really need to play anymore um, and also um, coming in right behind that dust storm where did I put it Sorry, I haven't done. Sorry, I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, and I'm way out of practice. Just wait for it to load, and that was from my backyard. Um, a really uh, intense storm last night. Not much rain, but we had a lot of mechanical sounding thunder and a lot of that and that is happening all the time um, my th my theory on that uh, it's like a flickering TV screen um, yeah anyway so that's um, my focus on it uh, done. I, I don't want to focus on this. I just want to um, keep an eye on it myself. Uh, be, yeah, uh, just to be safe. Um, but I felt like I had to report it um, because I yeah I don't see anyone else. I don't see anyone else doing it except for no script. Um, so anyway, love, I love you guys, uh, be safe out there, um, many, many prayers for California, um, yeah, uh, please be safe and get out if you have to, just, just get out, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, um, I'll see you guys later.